Okay, name a better duo, me, and redesigning your PSDs. So as per usual, I'm gonna be redesigning your PSDs and I have some really good ones here and I'm really excited to show you guys. So let's just, let's just jump into it. So naturally, sports posters go hand to hand. I've been really enjoying them. You guys have been enjoying them as well, but we have this really cool, the Staffin uh, First Adamelia Grand Prix. Yep, really cool poster designed by B Mask or Ben. And honest to God, I thought this was a really cool design. I just felt like the approach or the hierarchy was a little bit off for me. But then I said to myself, what if that's exactly what he wanted? Maybe he wanted this photo of like the celebration and the car within the actual person and double exposure. So I was like, maybe let me, let me think twice and say, Although I might have approached it a different way, not to say his is wrong, and I would love to see if I can experiment how to actually get his double exposure to be maybe like cooler. I don't know, like dope. It's not like it's bad. There's no other way to say this, honestly. Let's just let's just start. Okay, so first things first, we're in a 1700 by 2160 document size. This is a pretty good, like a pretty big document size. Now, I will say the photo itself doesn't have the clarity or quality that I would personally like. So I might go back in. Oh, I'm gonna use very similar poses, don't worry. But I'm gonna go back into Google. Hold on. Type in Vistaffin celebration, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and go to where it says tools, sizes. Let's do like a six megapixels. Uh, just for the record, this little thing is a plugin that I made for the record. I know it's not where it's supposed to be. I got to fix it, but you can still download it right now. Just so you, yeah, you're welcome. Okay, a little quick search and I got a 5K resolution one. Okay, well then look at this one. The quality is so good, but I don't have the visor. Are you guys gonna come after me if I don't have a visor down? I don't know, but I can't use a bad photo on purpose. Like, I mean, the more I look at it, the more I don't hate it. So you know what? I will say I'll opt in to use this one, but I don't want to. OK, but let's cut this thing out. So let's go ahead and say to ourselves, right, we have to have Verstappen and then we have to have first at Amelia. So let me take both of these. We have a good texture on this, by the way. I think you got my my texture pack. I can I can tell my texture from a mile away. I do like these flags, although I think there's a separation between these, right? Like, I don't know what this flag is here for. Is it representing where Verstappen is from and not like a sponsor, obviously? So I'm just wondering, like, do I want to separate the Formula One logo or not? I enjoyed the font he used, but I don't think it kind of, yeah, it's, I feel like there was another option. This one could be kind of nice too. It's pretty close, I would say. And I just want to kind of make it a little bit more stronger. And maybe even like, just like this could be kind of nice too, yeah? Now we can keep that there. We can keep this here. Now we're pretty good on that subtext for a second. But now I also have to now fix this cutout because of course zoomed out or zoomed in. It's definitely best. I made a rookie mistake. It's definitely best to zoom everything close before you cut things out, because then you just run into this issue that I'm running into. So let me cut this out again. So I think I have basically everything that was in here, right? Now, of course, I need the car as well. Is this a, spe the, a specific car? It just looks like it would be a, a regular car photo. I can't lie. I think I could get better than this too, the car. There's definitely other options like this, but I would say uh, this option gives us at least that like flat look like he like Ben definitely had in his previous version, like right here. So let's go ahead and just use that. So let's go ahead and drag this in. Now, double exposure, I haven't done it very, ever i don't think now i do know you might want to just like clip mask it right and then you might just have to like erase this and like figure out a transition point and all that good stuff now i wonder how i think this calls for a little bit of pinterest exploration so this is pretty cool i would say this is also pretty cool down here though they seem to also color match it so that the 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 separation or like the uh, com combination of these two images kind of work better this is also phenomenal so i think the trick is, is to match the two different tones, like the two photo tones. So that way they absolutely feel like the same, at least environment. And then it might just feel a little bit better, even just using a brush and erasing it. So let's just see what happens. We're gonna make this a lot wider. And I'm also gonna just go ahead and just use a generate fill here and just kind of get this going for myself. We need to figure out what's gonna be our color correction. I don't wanna mess around it too much. And maybe I need to like, okay, hold on. Let me think this through actually. Cause there's, there's a few ideas that are going in my head. One is do I color correct it entirely to like a different orangey tone or just something very specific in a color. That way I can color match it with my car photo. Another part is saying, should it be black and white? And then another part is telling me, well, that's not what Ben did. Okay, what Ben did was he kept it in color. Let's go with like lowering the color scale, like the, the vibrancy of these uh, stuff here. So let's go over here. Okay, let's go to camera off filter, let's split this into two, and let's just get cooking for a second. We're gonna sit back and, and cook. Now, first things first, we need a little bit of texture, we need a little bit of clarity, and we absolutely need a little bit of sharpening, right? This will get my photo looking all good. And let's just take the hue of everything, no saturation of everything, and kind of pop out what we're gonna need, right? Because if I do this right, the gray or the blue can be like set to gray, for instance, and the transition between the, the floor 
and the gray now shirt would work but it's, it shouldn't be completely gray it needs to keep that blue tone so that's what needs to happen here now i'm going to add a little bit of color grading nothing too wild but something very subtle where enough where i can color grade to at least the same tone and it might look pretty good. So I'm gonna use a little bit of orange on the shadows here. Mid-tones, I don't even really have to mess with, but I'm gonna see if like what happens if I put it on yellow as well. Something like this. And then highlights, I'm definitely not gonna touch. I'm gonna just touch, I think those two are enough. So now let's take this photo for a second. And what I will do is maybe I gotta make this photo have a little bit of a blue hue, like a the mid-shadows here, like the mid-tones here, like the, the road can be a bluish tone. That way it might work out. Let's first let's just let's just let's just fiddle. Mid-tones will change this to blue. Now we'll get this as close as possible. For the record, I'm looking right here and also I'm looking right here to see if I can get close enough to where that is, right? So I think it's a little bit more toward this tone, like a like a purplish undertone. Something like right here feels good. It's not fantastic. And I'm also not sure if I want to make it too blue because then it doesn't really feel like a road anymore. So let's just say we'll take this duplicate for a second. And I'm just going to first see what happens when I take this and then just kind of erase it like so. I'll be honest, it doesn't feel good. It feels like it's just sitting in the middle of its chest, right? It doesn't feel like it's like playing with the right setting. This is feeling a little bit better since there is like a blue transition, right? The skies are blue for one. Two things, I think this photo technically we can make it feel like the horizontal, what is not horizontal line? The horizon line is like cut and we just insert a sky in here somewhere. So I'm gonna take this and drag this below this. So it'll be something like this. And then my goal here is to match the blue with this blue. So again, it has to have this more purplish tone. Let's get that in there. And I won't worry about the sides for now, but let's go ahead and just kind of transition this sky up here into this. I feel like it's going somewhere, not quite there yet, but it's going somewhere. Something's wrong there. I'm missing something so simple. See, look at this. Why did this work? Because the edges touch, or at least if it's bigger, then you can make everything bigger. And then it feels more like a transition. So the issue is that this is too condensed, too much white space, which gives it too much separation, which makes it feel like a cutout. So eliminating this space gets rid of the cutout and makes it feel more like a plane. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, so now that I kind of understand what's happening here, let's say to ourselves, we might need to change the composition just a little bit, because I think the reason why Ben's concept did not work is because of how much negative space this is, how small the actual car feels, and the hierarchy will always have a struggle of seeing like Verstappen, but not really noticing the car, and I don't want to do that. So let's fix this by going ahead and making this bigger, okay? We're going to make this a lot bigger. I'm going to get rid of a lot of this negative space. I'm going to kind of sit this right about here the f the bottom of this photo now feels more like a plane and when i make this bigger this no longer feels like i'm struggling to actually get a transition because the transition itself is basically being assisted by this flat plane idea now the, of course the road itself is not perfect we got to fix this and all that good stuff now that feels pretty good the transition also feels pretty good now if i'm being honest i can also go even deeper into this transition i'm not gonna lie i think that feels pretty nice just gonna kind of make sure this feels more like a like a sunset-esque like pointing in a like a triangle shape but for the most part this feels the most together that it's ever felt right now if i group both these two things uh th 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 english is hard both these two things together i can use like a like a color balance or like a solid color let's see what color balance does for a second to really get these things to feel like one singular design now yes it definitely works but i do want to make sure i go back into this and bring a little bit more blue into this uh shirt here let's just take this bring this pretty high and maybe even like change it just a tiny bit so the new struggle right is now that we made the actual subject bigger to at least give hierarchy to the photo uh of the player itself or the player the the actual athlete itself and then the car right i run into this issue that oh yo where do i put my text at right i can make this like uh, subtext a little bit smaller if i make it smaller i might have to make it darker so it's still legible right and now we run into this issue right the same thing kind of happened over here as well but i do enjoy right a good old old-fashioned stroke in front of a thing so i take this duplicate right bring it above everything lower my fill down to zero use a nice little double click layer style use a stroke and i'll use a red okay i could use this idea and add the staff and still above it like so and i can go even further as to making a layer mask and then taking a nice uh let's say like a 20 percent or so a, a opacity brush and just going over this and erasing it just a tiny bit so that way you can still see the helmet you can still sort of make out the letters i'm, I'm not gonna lie it's still a little hard to read but i think for the culture 
it feels good. Let's go ahead also for the background. I know it's currently offset white, right? Which gives us the opportunity to make a new layer, take a nice brush hit at 100% opacity, take a nice white and just click right near the bottom. And it basically acts as if well, this is not white. This is now white. Now it basically kind of acts like a bit of a glow kind of going on here. And I might make it a little more noticeable by just taking the background layer and just lowering this by lightness by like a few points. Let's go ahead and use this texture because this is a really great texture. Now I'll use linear dodge add. Let's see what I can go with. If I go with hard light, does this give me the option to use blend if and kind of move some of this stuff in like so? Let's take some of this white away. That feels pretty good. Now his texture is a little more celebrated. Mine's a little more subtle. Again, I feel like there was like this Marlboro 70s kind of vibe going in the back of his head a little bit because like with the texture, the, the lower saturation, the red tone he used, it really does feel like a, like a, like it should have been like an old school approach, right? If not, it just feels like a small missed opportunity and we're just gonna expose it and make it just a lot more of an intentional idea. And realistically, I don't wanna add too much more. I would add some tub texture, some let me like light glows, but I don't wanna do that because I wanna stay so true to what he was going for that I don't wanna do that. So with that, I think we're at the finale. Let's go ahead and throw up the before and after because I genuinely think there's nothing more I can do that would stretch too far away from what he did. So the first thing I wanted to do is make sure I kind of fix the hierarchy. The actual athlete, the car, it felt a little bit lost. It felt a little bit distant. So I wanna make sure I brought that to the foreground and really make sure you can kind of see it. And also the face itself, the visor, the eyes are a lot more clear. The emotion is definitely more like a little more present. And then the type itself, we just add a little more of a bolder type. We still use that same sort of idea of the, the stroke option to bring the, the, the letters in the front a little bit more, but to stylize it a little bit with the, the erasing a little bit. So with that, how do we do? Ben, absolute W design. I kind of saw this when I first saw it. And I just thought it could easily be upgraded just a tiny bit, which is a few little tweaks and genuinely really dope design. And let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so next up we have a basketball poster. And now this is by Opium Bird. And he has his Luca uh, poster that kind of just realistically there was nothing quite wrong with it. I honestly just wanted to see if I can tweak a few things, experiment them and kind of exaggerate just a little bit more on what he was going for and kind of fix a little bit of type things that were a little bit worrisome for me. First thing actually being this Luka Doncic, like the, the Pravi MVP, these are all, these are, I feel like there's like three different typefaces going on here. I feel like Luka's one, it's condensed, it's small. We have the Doncic being a little bit more, uh, probably the same font. However, this characteristic to it, the, the, the effect that we added to it feels like another separate font. And then the actual MVP one feels like another third one, which I'm okay with sans serifs being like a, a type texture or information driven font. I just felt like the actual approach here wasn't quite necessary for the curvature and maybe we can kind of fix this a little bit to kind of make it a little bit more uh, like stand outish now he has his texture on it we also have like this cool little sort of like whatever background around this you kind of see this cool little border it's kind of cool and then he has a sort of atmosphere idea i'm not the biggest fan of these like like this is very old school to me i can't lie this is like tier one i just googled my first texture in photoshop vibes this is where the everything pack comes in I can help you separate yourself from those people. So instead, I'm actually gonna use something a little bit more fun and still kind of has that atmosphere idea. So I'm gonna use this, it's one of my scan line packs. If I were to make this big for a second, just kind of show you guys in this frame and his frame alone and bring this on like color dodging, kind of see it gives you that atmosphere idea as well. And this also just feels, I don't know, a little more different, a lot more unique, because there's definitely not another texture like this because I scanned it myself. However, let's go ahead and just drag in his photos. Now, he did some weird treatment on these photos. I won't lie to you. I do like the, the actual, the photo itself at least, but whatever, what is this? I'm not sure what this is supposed to do, to be very honest. So what I'll do instead is I'm gonna actually make sure this is a smart object. That way I can go into camera raw filter. Let's just give them a little bit of a color correction, okay? Of course, texture, a little bit of clarity. I think his skin tone is gonna be a little bit blown out right now. It doesn't feel like it's just, it just feel like it's just a bright light on him right now. So I'll take the highlights, lower this down a little bit. And now we got something a little bit more style, stylistic in a way. Okay, I don't need, I don't think the necessity is of the Dallas Mavericks title being, what is this logo? Oh my God, no. Yeah, that feels good. I mean, it's 700 pixels, it's not great. However, I do think it'll be better than that. Here we go, let's drag this boy in, make this smaller now. Let's go ahead and just make this white as well. This is really small because he's so like tall in the frame, it's not giving enough space for the logo, which is why you kind of moved it and made it as small as it is. So I'm gonna combat that and make Luca just a tiny bit bigger, but also just drag him down. That way I can place this logo and not make it too, too small, but somewhere like this might work or just say, hey, now let's just put the logo on this side. 
right? And it seems like this font is actually drama. And then Luca, what did you use for this one? This is also drama. Okay, so it was the same font. But I'm gonna get rid of the effect on this one. We're gonna keep Luca here, the drop shadow. Okay, tells me one thing immediately. If I think mo most times when I see with newer designers, they approach me and ask for a little bit of help. When I see a drop shadow, I'm a, I'm a very, very, very strong advocate of not using drop shadow, okay? One, the reason why you use it is because you're actually just lacking, right, one design fundamental, and that would be contrast. So Photoshop's way to solve that was using drop shadow because you can just add a shadow or a black to add contrast and you're good. So when you use it to solve a design fundamental, that means we have to actually go back and fix the fundamental. So what I'll do instead is I'll take this drop shadow off, we'll make this big, right? And we're obviously in a situation where we're in trouble, okay? So one option would be like, hey, let's just move it over here, right? Let's just kind of say, yo, it can be right there, but you wanted to put it on top of him. So we're gonna figure out a way to put it on top of him without messing too much up. Let's center this off. And I, I love the accents, but I absolutely hate that I can't like put it like this because then it just feels weird. Oh my God, this is, uh, this is language diff. So I'll do probably MVP. I'll just kind of find myself a nice little sans serif. I'll make this a little bit more smaller. Maybe I can put that here. What does a probably MVP mean? Oh, it translates to real MVP. Then I'll keep that there for now. I might add his uh, jersey number just kind of make sure I can balance this left and right hand side. So one simple, simple way to solve this issue where it, there's no contrast that still feels stylistic, that's not using drop shadow is instead using a brush. Okay, so a brush, I'll just go ahead and just do a new layer and I'll use this some, one of these dark tones in the background. So something like really dark, something like this is pretty good, right? Big brush, 0% hardness and just kind of click a few times, just like so, right? Just like that would be pretty, oh, you know what I can also share? I would also say to make this even better, I'll take this drop, uh, this darker color, right? You can see it's in my color picker right here. I'm gonna press X though to switch my color, right? So this is one previously, this is a new color. I'm gonna take my brush and choose one of the lighter tones in this graphic. Maybe not too light, something like this might work. Then I'll do the same as I think. New layer up below the text. Click once just like so, right? Make sure it get just a little bit heavy. I might have to make it a little more smaller. Click a few times just so that Luca, the name is actually present as well. Then I'll switch my brush, make a new layer to the darker color. And then I'll go over the bottom once. Just so I can add a little bit of density, a little bit of variety into it. It might be a little bit too dark. And then I'll make another new layer. And I'm gonna test this for a second. Choose one of these bluer colors over here. And I'm just gonna click right in the middle, just like so, right? And then maybe just use a little bit of linear dodge add and see if that helps me. It kind of does. What if I did another one, a little more condensed on the, on the actual glow though? And then we got ourselves a nice little bright name. And now there's genuinely no contrast issues whatsoever. And I'll just lower the lightness just a little bit so the, the, the glow is not too much. And I would say that's pretty decent. Let's move the Pavi MVP back on the bottom, the real MVP. So now I'll leave 77 like that. Honest, honestly, the photo is not my favorite, but I'm gonna keep it. What I e even will do, actually, is I'll use a little bit of hue and saturation, okay? Take a white brush and just make these teeth oh my god that's a little bit too black and white i need to go a little less around here and then let's put this up a little bit so now if i zoom out we got to see if a little bit more white and it looks just a lot better we're not trying to we're not trying to expose homie at all all right and you know what only because i want to make sure this is as close as possible to the original i'm actually going to use this texture all right i don't want to but what i might do to just kind of combat it just so it gets a little closer to your original i'm gonna use a little bit of blur oh my god i don't want to it's not miserable Okay, I'll do it like that. Is that okay? My other texture below it is still definitely doing some work. So we'll say that's okay. I can't lie to you, the double blue or the double white, a lot of white is kind of tripping me out. Like I almost want to like add in just a nice random complimentary color, like a yellow, just so that we can get his name to stand out more. Maybe I can even, I can shrink this now. And since it's, if I would add, if I were to add color, it would add more weight to it. So that way I can kind of make this a little more smaller too. Realistically, I'm seeing like this chime color, right? This like whatever this is, I can just kind of, maybe I can just take this color instead. That feels good and all, but I will say, I'm gonna, gonna add, just add a nice little new layer to this. I'm gonna take this color, make it a little more brighter. Just click once in the bottom here, just to kind of add a little bit more to it because it's not popping enough just for me. I'll do the same thing with number 77. I'll also say the contrast in the back feels a little bit like we need to just add some like darker tones to it or just brighten it up pretty, pretty out there. Something like this, because I feel like this was a little bit too dull. We need to add, we just got to add some stuff. Maybe even add a one more light. That's a little bit lighter tone. And then why not? We'll just take him new layer, clip mask this layer. So we do have this bright, nice color. I can just take this blue that I'm using, make it really close to white. 
put my hardness to like 40 or so get nice and small you can also tell the color correction or the uh i might have to go in a layer mask for a second with 100 percent hardness brush and fix this mask to be a little bit better okay that feels nice now on my new layer clip mask to it 40 percent hardness brush this is basically the rim light i've done this probably too many times to even count and now this glow just makes it feel just yeah, nicer but i think the last thing i will do is i'll combine all my layers together smart object and combine all my layers together with Control alt shift and e as the shortcut go into camera all filter bring in my light just make this a little bit more darker in some areas i'll take the luminance of my blue here and make this a little bit like well, i'll make this like darker like so oh my god i just realized though i didn't add these textures to it hold on i, I turned them off and i completely forgot let's we'll bring it in real quick i can probably still just add the textures just as exactly as it was but maybe a little bit of blend if just so that it's not everywhere i'll take the blend if underlying layer just like so now this feels very close so Oh, this is it right looking at opiums the struggles here were definitely typography and the layout just didn't feel really quite uh as cohesive i was at, if i was if i'm being honest as i would like for the type itself right it felt like three types i made sure I, there was no way in the world you got more than two out of my concept i wanted to make sure luca itself was pulled out so i used a little bit of glows of course made sure the dallas logo was of course present we put it on the left hand side and not the top because if we put it at the top we would have basically no space at all for it so making it a little bit bigger moving it to the left is okay and then filling that space to balance on the other side with like another number or the the jersey number or it could have been anything really another logo nba logo anything really and we also make sure of course it was no drop shadow on our text because we use design fundamentals to find a nice contrast we're just using a nice little brush right at the bottom and we got to a point of i think it felt good then opium i appreciate you guys so very much for your concepts being submitted and i appreciate you guys letting me touch them and have some fun with them don't forget to check out the everything pack as always the first thing in the description i promise you if you're if you're if, if you're a beginner designer this is it this is your way to get into the next level i promise anyway it's so hq out you gotta get a key smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive, guys. Let much love, peace, and enjoy the rest of your weekend.